Hello everybody! Today we're going to be doing a fun new sensorial activity together. It's called geometric solids and we're going to be sorting them. We've learnt a lot of the geometric solids names now and today we're going to be putting them into different categories depending on their properties. So why don't you come around this side and let's see what we need to do this work. So on my mat today, I have a basket full of geometric solids. I also have three labels. Let's remember what the names of these geometric solids are as I take them out of the basket. This is a sphere. This solid is called an ovoid. This geometric solid is a cylinder. This geometric solid is called a prism. This geometric solid is called an ellipsoid. This geometric solid is called a cube. A cone. Remember, this one is called the triangular based prism. And this one is the square based pyramid. Our last geometric solid is our triangular based pyramid. So today, we're going to categorize them. We're going to put them under their correct headings. This word says curved. And that means the shapes are totally curvy. They smooth and they can roll. We have another label over here that says plain. That means the sides are straight and flat, and the solid can't roll. And my last label says curved and plain. That means sometimes it can roll, and sometimes it can't. It has both curved and plain sides. So, let's choose our first solid and see which one it belongs under. Here can roll. It's a curved shape. The cube can't roll. It's a plain shape. The cylinder can't roll that way. But it can roll that way. It's both curved and plain. Here we have the square based prism. This one is plain. Let's look at our ellipsoid. This is curved. What about our square-based pyramid? That one's plain. What about our cone? Hmm, that 
gentle sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. A cone is curved and plain. What about our ovoid? Our ovoid is curved. Let's look at our triangular prism. And our very last geometric solid is our triangular pyramid. So, these are all our curved solids. These are our curved and plane solids. And these are all our plane solids. Thank you so much everybody. I hope you have so much fun working with the work that I sent home for you. Bye.